we're way past that. <laughs> Yo, two minutes. <laughs> Coach, Coach, following up on, on Jeremy, then, you know, what was the conversation with him last year? You said you wanted to keep him. Uh, you know, what, what was his response? Oh, I think he would have been, I mean, I you know, I think he was happy. Uh, but I think there's two parts. Is one, he had a terrific year, uh, so the chance to be a starter, you know, is obviously, and then the money. I mean, you know, those, those are always going to be the two factors. What role are you going to play, and the money. So I mean, you know, we had a good conversation. Um, you know, we went into free agency, you know, had having six guys, all who had played well. Uh, and we lost four of them, and they all got good contracts. They deserved it. Um, it should, I mean, that's the way it works. So, uh, you know, a little disappointed that we don't have him back, but, you know, happy for him. He deserves it. He seemed to feel like, like he got his career back on track. Uh, what do you see from him going forward when he, when he gets I will say this. A lot of times, you know, coaches, you get credit for things. Yeah, he played well. You know, I mean, it wasn't like uh, we reinvented anything. He fit well with our team. Um, you know, he'll say that his defense got better. There were no long, we worked on defense. He did it right away. He got it right away. He competed, you guys will see, he plays every night. He's a very committed, serious-minded player. And, uh, you know, the one story I'll say is when we signed him as a free agent, I had always been a fan of his, plus obviously working for Mike D'Antoni. You know, Mike was always watching him. So I went out to um, I went out to uh, meet with him and watch him work out. And his summer workout is typed out, you know, with priorities, with a summer plan. And if you look at his career, he's gotten better every single year. But he knows what his weaknesses are, uh, and he knows what his strengths are, and he has a definitive plan every day. So I mean. He's one of those guys that he's going to keep getting better because he studies himself, he knows what he has to work on, and he does it. So, you know, he's going to keep, he'll keep getting better and better. It's just the way he is. Is it fair to say the hardest thing to replace as far as what he did last season is his ability to guard two? So you yeah. Give, you give the other no, and that was the other the reason why he fits so well with our team is I don't think people realize, and I, I, I didn't either, he's so big and strong. Uh, that you know he could play the two a lot with Kemba because he could guard all the twos and we rarely had defensive problems with him at the two. I mean he's he's physical, he's tough minded. You know he had to front a lot in the post, but it was not a problem. And you know that allowed us to play a rotation of nine, which to me is a big deal. You know if you don't have a superstar, to me you got to be able to play nine guys and. That allows all nine of them to play well. Um, I think when you have a superstar level player, you can play more guys because they're going to play off that guy more. We have a lot of really, really good players, but I think for a team like ours, you want to be able to get to nine. And him playing both spots allowed us to do that. Steve, how much do you think it matters to him that he has a team that he can kind of call his own, that he's running? You know, I think Kenny's called him his quarterback. Um, and so many people have kind of said, well, maybe Jeremy's best fit is coming off the bench. How much do you think it means him? And how can you, how oh, do you I, think he'll handle that? I think it means a lot to anybody like him because the reason that he's good is is he's, he puts pride in how he plays. You know, I mean, I mean, if you say to me, hey, this guy's pretty good and he doesn't mind being a third guard his whole career, you know, he doesn't have the drive. I mean, you want everybody to want to be like that. And I think that's one of his... You know, one of his real strengths is he's motivated. Um, you know, look, it, you know, I mean, I've, you know, obviously coaching him, we've had many conversations, but he has a strong belief in himself and he wants to prove to people that he can be an upper echelon player. That's how you should think, you know. And the thing that I appreciated about it was is that as much as he wanted to start last year, he knew coming in what, you know, the situation was, what the role was. Not once, you know, and I mean, look, you go back, if you want to look at, you could argue that our two best regular season wins last year, he was our best player. At 35 one night at home against Toronto, uh, well, actually maybe three of them. He was our best player. We beat San Antonio late in the year, and we beat the one game Kemba missed last year was against Cleveland. Jeremy was our best player that night. So 
He's a proven player, but you want, I mean, to me, you want guys who want, you know, if you, if you say, I'm happy being the eighth guy, you know, you better be like 34 at the end. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I mean, you know, he's not there, you know. <laughs> or 37, maybe, or something like that. <laughs>